What is the most insane thing you have overlooked, for the sake of getting laid? She legit stole my wallet the first time we hooked up. It had $200 in it sex was so damn good I just made sure I hid my wallet and valuables for rounds 2 to 4. For rounds 2 to 4 I would have left a decoy wallet with a monopoly card do not pass go do not collect $200. That she was crazy. One of the first things she said to me while making out at a party was they all say I'm crazy, but I'm really not. My 2020 hindsight determined that was a lie. She said she had thousands of kids that telepathically communicate with her all at once. Edit. I was not expecting this much of a turnout. I only talked to her for a few more weeks and slowly faded myself out since I was too afraid to just ghost her. That's the type of crazy I didn't want to get on the wrong side of. I didn't pry too much more into it due to how uncomfortable I got. Edit 2. This happened a long long time ago when I was a dumb adolescent. I hope she got the help she needed. The last girl I dated told me she liked holding a knife to her ex's neck while he slept because she fantasized about murder and wanted to see what it felt like. I don't know if you're incredibly brave or incredibly stupid, or both. I would have shit my pants and been out of there immediately. The best part? She told me that while we were laying in bed. Are you in the bed now? Do you need us to send a Cutco representative? That's not a red flag, that's the entire USSR. She showed up to my apartment without directions or asking. Edit. This blew up far more than I thought. She was a friend of a friend, and knew the complex itself from talking with her earlier. Never crossed my mind to ask how she figured out my building or apartment until later, and when you wake up to a cute girl knocking on your door at 2 a.m., it doesn't really cross your mind. We saw each other for a few months, till I digured our what was cute at first was stalkers and became upsetting when I need to sleep. Lesson learned. Now I use an alias and safe house when I meet people. S second edit. Wow guys, this was far more popular than I thought. Thanks for the replies, awards, and comments, either positive or negative. This happened maybe 12 years ago and close to 1000 miles away, to the person who hit the get them help button, and last I checked she was married with several kids so I no longer feel endangered. The fact she tried to stab me. 20-year-old stripper whose husband was in jail. Husband got out and fire bombed my car in her driveway. She told me she was a manipulative, emotionally unavailable, and controlling person. I still went in. She wasn't lying lol but I think I maneuvered it well. First day, she fell in love. Day 2, she slapped me in the face. Day 3, she broke into my house. Edit. As requested. So you guys don't have to scroll through all the comments. Day 4, I learned she could squirt across the room. Day 5, she told me she had chlamydia. Day 6, I smashed one last time and didn't pull out. Day 7, she brought me the pill that treats chlamydia and sucked my soul out right after. Day 8 and beyond, I ignored the rest of her calls and left her on read. I'm surprised my house didn't get burnt down as it still stands today. Thanks for all the love, my gents. She said Bionicle was stupid. I ignored such foul blasphemy because she was stupidly hot. Hooked up with a girl near DC who was very into Spongebob, which is cool I am too, but she was like super into Spongebob. Throw pillows, posters, stuffed animals everywhere. When we hooked up she made me do the laugh so she'd get off edit. For anyone concerned, I didn't stay the night. Me and my dignity limped to the car and left. She made me do the laugh so she'd get off oh my god lmao and you did it? Literally on command when I laughed she came. Can you imagine your next door neighbor being this dude? Thuds on the wall. Neighbor. WTF they doing over there? This guy. Laughs like Spongebob. Spongebob no pants. Moans loudly neighbor. Is that Spongebob? Me. No this is Patrick. Family gang ties. She would use that as a threat to prevent me from breaking up, cheating, or making her upset in general. Note to self a good number of men will ignore any red flag to get laid. Me. About to walk across a minefield and a shark infested moat full of HIV plus blood. Trying to smash someone's daughter. Dot why am I doing this? Penis. You gotta.
She thought the earth was flat and thought I believed it too. Ass as round as the earth she thought was flat. That she was 100% bat shit insane. Met online. She opened with saying wow what a dirty old white man. What's with you white men? She, herself, was white. I thought she was joking, but she wasn't. She was dead ass serious about having a heated racial argument against her own race. I played along. Turns out, she does that as a test to see if people can handle her. Red flag, but she was one of the hottest people I've ever talked to. We continue on. She is an artist, engineer. She tells me how big her house is and how she would love to support me. She'd pay all my bills, etc. This seemed odd, as I just met her. She insisted I come out to Detroit to see her. I was in Ohio. I have known her a day. Well, as my blood wasn't in the right area of my body, I decided to go. I drove the few hours and showed up at what could only be described as a house used in movies to depict a trailer trash, dirty individual. Her front yard was covered in an array of random objects. It looked like a bomb went off in the middle of a yard sale for stuff a goodwill wouldn't accept. There. Was so much random stuff, I has to step on a chair and over a fence to get from her driveway to the front door. We continued on. Her house was a mess. It was like a homeless person got a home and moved all their homeless essence into it. It wasn't dirty, per se, just, so 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 much clutter. We went to her room and I laid down. We proceeded to talk for a while, and we wound up in a moment of silence. I brought up something I'd seen in a documentary recently and she got super serious, super fast. She looked at me and said okay, and the point of that sentence was. I replied that I was just trying to make small talk. Who fucking cares about a documentary? Why do I give a shit? I wasn't sure how to respond so I went with just explaining the concept of small talk. She interrupted me and said you are boring as fuck. Why bother opening your mouth? I couldn't understand what was happening. I never had an interaction like that before. She was now nitpicking everything I said and getting angrier by the minute. I tried so much to change the subject to something she'd like. But I couldn't manage. I still decided to sleep over. The worst part was, no matter how I tried to initiate the sex that she was talking non-stop about having over text when we met, it never happened. We just went to sleep. I spent the entire night staring at her ceiling instead of leaving because, well, tomorrow exists. The last straw was when she got up, pretended I didn't exist, walked to the bathroom and took the loudest, nastiest shit I've ever heard come out of a woman, with the door open. She didn't wash her hands, or flush. All that for a set of blue balls and hours and hours of wasted driving. I told this story before on Reddit. I met a girl on a bus and on our first date she told me that her father is always present and she can see him sitting right next to me. I thought she was joking or used a metaphor of him always watching her but she pointed where he was sitting. I should mention that he is alive and well. I proceeded to have a two-year-long relationship with her with lots of weird things happening in it. English wasn't her first language neither was mine but we communicated in English. Sometimes she would say we when talking about what she did on a day and refused to elaborate. Any kind of argument would end up with her trying to gaslight me about unimportant details. Like she would say something and I would quote it back to her and she would say, no that's what you said. She married a 60 year old man when she was 25. Really mysterious person to this day I can't say how crazy she really is. This isn't a lie to get laid, but a very poor belief of a lie. I'm on birth control. You can totally come inside and I won't get pregnant. Anyway my daughter just turned 6 in September and been a single father for 4 years LMAO wouldn't change anything but it was straight up a long con plot to use the child as leverage against me. The final straw was her texting me saying, if you don't do what I say, I'll pack up and leave and then our daughter won't have a mother and that'll be all your fault. She played me like a fucking fiddle lol no raggarts though. Broke up with her the same day she sent that text to me, kicked her out few weeks after edit. If it wasn't clear I've had my daughter ever since the day I kicked the mother out and she's never attempted to visit. One time she did call talking mad shit about how. I never let her see her, and I just said, literally nothing it's stopping you, here's my address, I'm home at these days and times, and then she told me to go fuck myself and hung up lol. She was so so dumb. We were 19 and she told me that if I wanted to have sex, it had to be before 8 because she wanted to make sure she was getting enough sleep because she wanted to grow a few inches taller. But she was really good in bed so I made sure we got it in before 8pm edit. 
I should add, she used to swear her boobs were going to grow a full one or two cup sizes in, the next few months, because, that's what my sisters did. I also thought she was a bit crazy for that. Well turns out a few months later, after we had stopped canoodling, her breasts had in fact grown considerably. Not sure about how tall she is now though. That I met her in group therapy. In fairness, that means she met you in group therapy too. The crazy eyes. Me and my friends were drunk and got a ride from some random chick in a parking lot on Xmas night. On the way she pulled a gun on us. Once she stopped my buddies all took off running. I stood there. And then she invited me in for sex on the couch of the place she was house sitting. Edit. People asked for the full story it's in the comments below if anyone wants it. She had just graduated high school, was 18 and still living at home, and invited me over to her place cause her parents had left to go camping, was supposed to stay the weekend. I overlooked the pile of camping gear in the garage. I saw it, commented on it while we were having a cigarette, but she said it was only a small portion of his gear. After the deed, we fell asleep and I got woken up with a kick to my ribs, then another to my back, and a punch to the back of the head. I was really confused and hurt. Some big bear of a man screaming about some guy fucking his daughter. Oh. He left the room and was yelling about his gun, and started rummaging through his closet. I jumped up and was getting dressed getting dressed. He saw me and came back and started wailing on me. We fought for a bit and after I punched him a few times he threw my into a wall and went back to find his gun. I looked over at the girl like what the fuck, cause she was just laying there. She said you'd better leave and then rolled over. I left. What made a shitty situation worse, my truck was in the shop so she had picked me up from my place, and I had left my bag with my wallet in it in her room. It was a long six-mile walk home at 3 a.m., late 90s before cell phones and Uber. Come to find out, her dad had had to work the late shift for some reason or other and hadn't left when he was supposed to. I should never have overlooked the camping gear, but it makes for a great story years later. It she had a black eye when I showed up at her house. Clear as day 100% a black eye from a punch in. There was a picture of her and her apparent ex in her room too but she told me they had been broken up for a while. I told her several times I'm sorry but I didn't believe her story and I wanted to make sure everything was okay but she continued to insist it was from falling down the stairs. Dot she also seemed a little bit strung out like she had just come off a bender. I let her know I hope everything was okay because I didn't want to hurt anyone if they showed up. Which was just a defense mechanism against me being scared af some psycho was going to barge in there with a gun or something. Later on after we had hooked up a few times we were hanging out and she decided to call her friend who was drunk. I proceeded to listen to a conversation about my girl apparently abandoning some dogs she had been watching at a bar in some drunken days? And her friend asking her WTF was going on and saying everyone was mad at her but she wasn't and just wanted to find out what happened and if she was safe etc. I started to be involved in the convo at some point because the friend wanted to know who I was and tell me to keep her safe etc. But then, she literally started telling me you seem like a nice guy, but if I were you I'd get out of there right now. My girl would just roll her eyes at this and say ignore her etc etc but it started to make me very scared that someone jealous really might show up any second. After the phone call ended my girl asked she didn't scare you did she but I was scared shish asterisk telus at this point. Was way out in the country with nothing but darkness around her country home about an hour from my house too. I had to tell her I just thought it was better to go with all the stuff that was going on, to her extreme disappointment. I felt horrible because I know she needed me emotionally at that moment but she had to my mind completely lied about her black eye, had a picture of a dude that for all I knew was still together with, her entire friend group was mad and looking for her, she had fallen off the map to them apparently after the dog incident, and here's her drunk friend telling me literally I better get out while I can on top of it. So I was like I, sorry there's just a lot going on I have to leave. I'm surprised more of you haven't died from diseases or being murdered because WTF. She hated straight white men, guess what I am. Like real hatred. Was the most submissive girl in bed though. Preacher's daughter with a history of posting nudes online, and an avowed polyamorist. Yes, I put myself through the emotional ringer. She had a stinky ass pussy, but I still smashed. I went to the bathroom afterwards and washed my dick in the sink. I almost puked from the smell.
Oh boy. I hooked up with a girl from high school almost a year after I graduated. She was in the grade below me. Her BF had just committed suicide about a week before. He supposedly did it because he'd cheated on her and she hadn't forgiven him for it. Come to find out later, she may have actually cheated on him, but I have no way of knowing. Anyway, she said she may have caught gonorrhea from him and wasn't certain. So I still smashed anyway with a condom. Fortunately neither of us have it, but still, that was stupid as fuck of me to hook up with someone who'd let me know they might have caught an STI. I was in a dry spell at the time though. Never again.